In today's world of shifting identities and self-expression, it's easy to forget a simple truth written in every cell of our bodies. Sexuality is fluid, but gender is immutable. Beneath skin tone, beyond clothes and pronouns, your cells, trillions of them, tell a deeper biological story. Let's go inside the science of what makes us male or female. Women have 28 trillion cells, all with two X chromosomes. Men have 36 trillion cells, all with one X and one Y. That Y chromosome is small, but mighty. It carries key genes essential for male development and basic cell function. In females, something extraordinary happens. One of the two X chromosomes is turned off in every cell, a process called X inactivation. This makes every woman a biological mosaic. Some cells use one X, others use the other. This genetic variety can offer protection against disease. But that silenced X chromosome doesn't always stay quiet. Some genes escape inactivation, producing higher levels of certain proteins in women's cells. This difference may help explain why 80% of all autoimmune diseases occur in females. Diseases like lupus, 9 to 1 female to male, Sjogren's syndrome, 19 to 1, multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis, 3 to 1. The molecule called ZIST, a long non-coding RNA, coats one of the X chromosomes and triggers its epigenetic silencing. In approximately 50% of a woman's cells, the maternal X is inactivated, and in the other 50%, the paternal X is inactivated. In some women, the epigenetic silencing is incomplete which can lead to overexpression of immune-related genes on the silenced X chromosome, which may enhance immune activation. While minds may feel fluid, the biological brain is not genderless. Studies show male brains are wired for motor skills and spatial reasoning, while female brains excel in verbal memory and social intelligence. These aren't just psychological patterns, they're reflected in how neurons connect and fire. Male brains favor front-to-back connectivity, action-oriented. Female brains favor left-to-right, bridging logic with emotion. The heart, often romanticized, is another organ that reflects our chromosomal truth. A male heart is bigger, with higher mass, greater output. A female heart is slightly smaller, but beats faster and has a higher ejection fraction, pumping blood more efficiently. Even how hearts contract and relax differs. These differences affect how men and women experience heart disease, recover from surgery, and even respond to medication. Gender isn't simply about external traits or hormone levels. It's rooted deep in every cell. Female cells must actively manage two X chromosomes, while male cells operate with just one X and one Y. These differences shape our biochemistry, metabolism, immune responses, and much more. No surgery, hormones, or outward expression can change your chromosomal blueprint. It's not about politics, it's about biology. Sexuality, the way we express or experience attraction, is fluid and shaped by environment, culture, and identity. But gender, biologically defined by XX or XY chromosomes, is immutable. The core identity of your body remains unchanged at the cellular level. You can alter function, appearance, even behavior, but you cannot alter the foundational code. A woman's body is designed to function with two X chromosomes, a man's with an X and a Y. At the intersection of science and society lies a powerful truth. Who we are is written in our DNA. Chromosomes don't judge, they don't politicize. They just are, constant, complex, and unchangeable. As we embrace the spectrum of identity and the freedom of expression, let us also respect the clarity of biology. Sexuality may be fluid, but gender is written in every cell. Like, comment, and subscribe for more science-backed explorations. Follow the Informed Woman magazine, where truth meets biology.